Hi, I'm Albert Silver, and I'm an editor of Chess-Based News. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the Play Chess experience on web, using the web app as opposed to the desktop or Android or Apple iOS program. Here we have the basic page of Chessbase account, and to access it, we just click on Play Chess. And here we have it opening up. And because it automatically recognizes my IP as originating from Brazil, it has put the language inside in Portuguese, hence the Brazilian flag here. However, since the video is done in English, and I'm presuming that most who are accompanying this are English speakers, let's move this to English. However, as you can see, there's a wide number of languages to whatever language you prefer. Now, although it is possible for me to access here as a guest and enjoy some of the features, in order to enjoy all of them, I do need to log in as a full subscriber. So let's log in. Give it a second while it loads up. And OK. Here we have the basic main room where we would be playing or watching games. Watching games, that is, of players who are connected online and therefore playing. Now here we can see a, lot, a list of the players. We can see the games that are, on, that are currently underway. We can order these by rating by clicking here on the ELO and automatically it will put the highest or the lowest. You have in the middle of the screen, the main screen, we have a number of instructions in case you forget what all of these icons mean or what they do. So we have main screen, play a blitz, play a bullet, play a slow game, 15 minutes in this case, commits the four most interesting live games, commits the strongest blitz game, log in with your existing, of course, claim a win, offer rematch, and so forth. Let's suppose that we wanted to do the most basic thing, which is play a game. And I should warn you in advance that I will be resigning this game practically as soon as it starts to not waste someone's time. I'll put on play a blitz. Play a bullet, make it faster. Just click on it. And immediately we have a game that's opened up with all of the usual options, ping, rematch, and whatnot. We'll play a few moves, and you can see, okay, I, here is the my opponent's uh, rating, his name. Next to it, we have the times per move, 1.2 seconds. He's playing quite quickly. I'm playing as slow as a turtle. He's probably wondering what the heck is going on. Play the first moves. Let's close this here. Now, let's suppose that I wanted to offer a draw. I won't offer a draw because I think that would be kind of rude. But let's just resign here. And I can change the boards. I'll just show you that really quickly. As you can see, we have not only different colors, but different fonts. This is an old style. And, well, there was no need. It's, it seems that it was a one-minute game. I'm used to two minutes. I haven't paid any attention. But that's okay. As you can see, we have the... I could out for him a, a draw, or accept a draw, claim the win, rematch, reconnect if I have an issue with my connection, Let's just close here. Now to close this and go back to the main screen, there is a very clear and very large red X. So we'll click on that and go back to the main screen. Now suppose that you didn't really want to come in and watch it and play a game. You wanted to just, you know, maybe chat, maybe watch uh, some strong players play their, uh, play their own blitz or bullet. To do that, we would click on Kibitz Blitz. 
which will basically choose the strongest online Blitz game being played at that moment. Now, since this video is being recorded quite late, I would expect that the top players would not be connected, so I should warn you. And, okay, top players are Welter against Strack. I find that hard to believe, frankly. Oh, it's them. Okay, so here we can watch it. We can even rush, um, enter an engine to see what the engine thinks while they're playing. Just as you would if you were playing, on, if you were using the desktop. And you can see Fritz is running here. And I should warn you that Fritz, when it runs, is actually running on your computer. It is loading a special web app version of the engine, but it is running on your computer. So the stronger or the faster your computer, the better the results. Now, since this is, of course, Blitz or Bullet, you don't really need top worldly analysis. But it is good enough to know if they're missing, let's say, uh, a hanging piece, a uh, quick combination, maybe a, a mate, a mating attack or other. All of these will come up because after all it is frets and it is 14 ply. I mean that is seven full moves ahead. The evaluation here we see is minus 0 0.04. You can expand this to show more than one line. So these are the top two lines being analyzed and the, the relevant evaluations. We can reduce that, and we can of course turn it off. If you want to stop the game, and this position is really fascinating, I wanted to analyze this game at home um, at my own pace, you can turn off the receiving receive moves, and what will happen is the board will effectively stay as it is with all of the moves you see here in the notation, but it will not add moves and it will certainly not close the board once the game is done. Now what if I wanted to see more than one game? I mean, I'm watching this Melter's Drac, but I wanted to see a second game at the same time because, you know, I just need more action. Well, you can do that. You can click on View More Boards. And we have two. Ah, this seems a little stronger. And I suspect that we are in now in the broadcast room. Indeed. Okay, we can go back to the home screen. Now, if you're waiting around to look for a game of your own, you can also watch for the challenges here in the room or make your own. As you saw, we had the option to just click on Play Bullet for one minute, but you can also choose your own time control. Now here we have the basic is five minutes, but suppose I wanted to choose a different time control. I could click on the arrow, choose three minute, four minute, five minute, three minute plus two second increment, or ten minute game. And the same is true also of Play Slow. I can also click on the Seek button, and that will allow me to truly take control over the time control. I can choose whether I want it to be rated or not, with a clock or without. I could set it to have, let's say, 3 minutes plus 5 seconds. Whatever makes you happy, you can choose here. And this is where you would be able to enter your time control manually. Let's go to the broadcast room, where we can watch some of the top tournaments being run. We'll click on Live Games, and automatically it will open up four boards. This is a feature that you usually have in a desktop, and here you also have it available in the web app. In fact, if you're watching this on a smartphone or a tablet, you can also multiply the, top, the, the boards um, and watch four, six, eight, ten boards if your screen is big enough or your eyes are sharp enough. 
If I wanted to add more boards, I would just click on More. It automatic automatically does this in groups of two, which makes sense. And it's trying to fit these right now to the amount of real estate that I've given it. I could, of course, increase this. Let's remove one and see if we can't. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, depending on how much room you have and the size of the area you've allotted to the boards, if I resize it enough, I can fit a full eight boards, which is not bad. Now you may have noticed, obviously these games aren't running live, but you may have noticed also that there is this little thing on the side. What is this? This is actually engine analysis provided automatically for you while you're watching the games. If you want to have a quick idea as to who's ahead without actually starting the engine manually or consulting, um, let's say, live commentary if there is any, well, you can look over here and you can mouse over it. White is clearly winning and we have the evaluation as well as the main line. Here we have another one. White is clearly winning. Now, this is obvious because the games have already ended. As you may have noticed, it's a score of 1-0, no clock, and so forth. But if these games were running live, then this would give you immediate feedback as to the state of the game and give you an idea as to who lies ahead or who lies who's behind. So let's reduce this a little bit. You can, of course, flip the colors. And finally, you may have noticed also that the notation changes depending on which board I highlight. Over here we have it highlighted in the light oh, green, olive maybe. Click over here. And each time we have this. Now, if I were to choose a different move, I would also get access to the statistics of the live book. In other words, even here in the web app, you don't need necessarily the full program in order to appreciate the statistics of the moves as well as engine evaluations. The live book is a, is a combination of engine evaluations and statistics from the, live, from the large database, filtered to show master game results. So even though it is accessing a full 7 million game database, you are watching, let's say, a filtered result to give you, let's say, more pertinent or more relevant results. I could, though, however, turn on the engine, even live in the game. I could turn over here, click on the engine button. And again, just as when we were watching the live Blitz games, I have access to the engine evaluations. If I switch games or switch moves, the engine will automatically update as well. Finally, if there's a live commentary and you'd like to listen to it, for example, let's say Daniel King, Yasser Serwan, um, Simon Williams, or another grandmaster is making live is doing live commentary, and not just in English but as well as in German or Spanish, or even French. You can click on the Listen to Radio button. Currently, there is no live broadcast available, which we are actually new. And it should open up the live audio or video. However, you'll notice that when I mouse over it, moused over it, it says Under Construction. This is a feature that's still being implemented. I have seen it working full with video, but it tended to be a little bit erratic. It will be fine-tuned in, in, uh, in the sh near future, though. Finally, of course, you can choose the boards and the notation as you would like. If you'd like to look at the map, I can't tell you exactly where that map, what that map is, will be showing you. I'll be honest. You can, of course, look at statistics. 
peak connections of the day. Upsense 3 3. 20,000 daily games. Visitors at the moment 3,300. Peak connections is nearly 5,000. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to understand and appreciate more of what PlayChess has to offer. Stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.